Hey y'all, how's it going? It is your girl, Hot Girl Tail Shay. Thank y'all all for being here and joining me. Okay, I greatly do appreciate it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on you guys' reading today. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Okay, so Spirit Angels and Goddess, please protect me as I send these messages for the collective's highest good. Anyone sending any negative energy doing any spell work, I ask that you please return it back to the sender. Please protect me as I channel these messages for the collective's highest good. What do they need to know as they come about the person that is currently on their mind? What do they need to know about the person that is currently on their mind? All right. I hope you are enjoying y'all's day. Hope y'all are getting things done. Okay, it's getting a little cold where I'm at. So, so what are we talking about today, Spirit? What is the message? What What are we talking about? Oh, so whoever this is is just thinking about that you're thinking about. They're thinking about the future. Okay, somebody here has been thinking a lot about their future, and I feel like it's it's a part of with you on their mind. Okay, so somebody here is definitely thinking about the future. What else, Spirit? The person is on collective's mind. What do they need to know? The person that is currently on the collective's mind, what are they thinking about with the collective? Come on now. <laughs> the person that's, well, let's use another deck. How about that? So whoever this is, is thinking about the future. And we're going to use this deck I'm hearing. So, okay. So somebody here is thinking about the future. Okay. Here lately, they've been thinking about a lot. They have been thinking about you. Okay, and they're thinking about what they need to do. How can they get to this? I feel like this, I want to say happy ending. Somebody here is thinking about how to get to the happy ending, to the to the best part of the thing, okay? We got never make a promise. So this person, they said, I'll never make a promise that I can't keep by Drew Hill. Someone here could have promised you a, a lot of things and they didn't keep their promise. I don't know. Or they want to keep a promise. The spirit, the person on the collective's mind, how are they feeling towards the collective? What is their energy like? Mm. So somebody here wants an understanding here with you. Somebody here wants to get through to you, collective, okay? Somebody here wants your understanding. What do they want the uh, collective to understand, spirit? What does the person that is on the collective's mind, what does that person want them to understand? What understanding do they want with the collective? Somebody here wants you to understand that they see you as a ride or die. Okay, so you see him holding her stomach. Somebody here wants you to understand they want to have a child with you, a family with you. Okay. All right. So somebody here wants you to understand. That's part with the future that they're thinking about. Some of you did ride for this person and you had their back. You really, really showed up for them. Showed up for them when nobody else did. Okay, and that and it's hard for them to just let that go. If this person don't feel right, just just letting it go. Okay, tell me more. How does this person feel about the collective? What when they think about the collective, what do they think about? When they think about the collective, what do they think about? What more what understanding besides ride and ride or die? Some of you could have been a ride or die to this person. I'm telling y'all, somebody here wants to have something either something new, have a new fresh beginning here, or they want to have a child with you. That is on somebody's mind heavy. For some of you, you have probably declined or maybe you took a plan B or maybe you set the record straight. Like, I'm not having no children with you until you put a ring on my finger or until you show it for me better. We're not going to be going through this. This, Like, I'm not going to do enough, no shade to anybody, okay? Because we all, people do it all the time, okay? But for some of you, you want to do it differently than what your mom and dad did, how your mom and dad did it. Okay, you you you're looking at things different. Some of you don't even have no children, and you don't, and you just want to make sure you're doing it right. Or if you already have a child, you want to make sure that before you just be popping out more babies for somebody, you want to do it the right way. You want to make sure that this person really gets through their head that you are not going to offer them anything until they either commit to you, y'all working towards something. Like this person got to give something. I'm I'm hearing to pull one more. So. What else, Spirit? How does this person feel about the collective? What are their thoughts when they think about the collective? Yeah, some of you are teaching this person a lesson. And for some of you, the lesson is very spiritual. Okay? Whatever lesson that you, do, that you teach your person, you're showing this person that they're going through things. They're going down the wrong path with what they're doing. Okay? Whatever they think they're doing 
it is not okay to you. You don't feel happy or satisfied right now. And right now they're learning a spiritual lesson. All right, one more. How does this person feel towards the collective? Yeah, now they're ready to open up. Open up and talk to you. Open up and communicate. Let you know what they're thinking. Look, never keeping secrets. Okay, so this person is like, I'll never tell a lie. I want to make it up to you. And it's crazy how that card came out. Open up. Okay, never keeping a secret. Somebody here's like saying, I never want to, I never want to lie. I don't want to keep anything from anyone. I want to be honest. Yeah, because you and this person have been on a journey. Hell, y'all have been on an adventure with this person. Okay, some of you, you have been very healing in this person's like you've been very healing. You are for some of you, you are re are the reason why your person is choosing to be like, you know what, let me get my shit together. Like you really bring out a different side to this person and you are healing. Your vibe is healing, your energy is healing. This person, you can you you bring out the good side out of this person. Yeah, look, and now they're wanting a new beginning here with you. You're giving them a different type of vibe, a different kind of love that they haven't seen. And and they're and they're learning a lesson. This person is thinking about the future with you and they want to have an understand. They want to sit down and talk, communicate, be better for you, with you, to you. Okay, because you deserve that much. All right. Let's get into some more of this this energy. So somebody here is done learned a lesson. Okay, they're 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 understanding, yeah, because some of you, yeah, grass that wasn't greener. But somebody here is trying to go through an understanding. And and for some of you, you you did understand. Even though maybe a lot of people had things to say about your person or, you know, everybody was just trying to tell you of what, what you should do about this person, you still try to understand them and get to know them. Some of you, this person, you're probably not even in the typical whatever world or whatever they say. You, this is not supposed to be the type of guy you're supposed to be dating or the type of girl you're supposed to be dating. But for somehow you... You're, you you opened up, you showed this person what it felt like with, if they, especially if they went through a rough time, like, you know how Remy Ma, she went to jail and Papoose, he held her down. So some of you look past this person, some of you, that's what y'all did. Your person could have got locked up and you held this person down. You, you, you understood them. You listened to them. You answered calls. You were there. You, you didn't give up on your person, you know, and now this person collects you somebody who's that want to marry because it's like, damn, if I go through the worst, I know the collective is going to be there. Like, they know, like, if anything was to hit fan, like, this person could have been like, baby, I need this. Can you take care of this? Can you do this? He's like, yeah, I got you. And you you never told this person no. And that's why they, they want to keep, they want to have something here new with you. They're learning their a lesson here. And for some of you, it's like, you know, I rode with you to the end. I was there. I was faithful. You know, right away said, said you couldn't win and did you, but was faithful. That's why I want to thank you for giving me the best of me or something like that. I can't take the past. I can't back. I can't take back the past, but I got, got the recipe. He said, let's jump on a plane and see the world together. Give you my last name. You my girlfriend forever. So paint the sky red is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah. So this person could definitely want to open up to you and express to you how much they are thankful for you. You you rode for them. You was real. You never told them no. You stood by them. Okay. And they're like, if, if anybody I'm going to give an offer to, that's why they're thinking about the future with you. Because they know that when shit hits the fan or when it got rocky or when, or when it wasn't always good, you were the one who was there. When things were not always good, you was there. Nobody, they, they, but they didn't even think that you would, they would have somebody like that, but you were a blessing in this person's life. Okay. So somebody here is definitely about to get ready to open up to you. Mm-hmm. It's a cold, cold world. It's a wild, wild life. But as long as I got you, girl, I'm all right. In the middle of the day, at the end of the night, I need you right by my side. So if you need me, you can call me. I'll come running for you, darling. Whatever it is, I'll come full speed. Guaranteed to paint the sky red for you. Yeah, look, unfinished business. So this person, you and this person just may not be done. Okay? He said, I can't take back the past, but I got the recipe. Okay? I don't know why I'm telling that song so heavy and other songs are playing, but that let's I guess listen to Rod Wave. Paint the sky. Paint the sky red. So let's get into your reading. What else, Spirit? What else do you need to collect and done?
Yeah, he said. That's why I want to thank you for giving you the best of me. I can't take back the past, but I got the recipe. Okay. So this person can't take back what they did to you, but they're like, I, I know now. I'm, I done learned my lesson. That's why they're ready to open up to you. Okay? Because they done learned their lesson. Okay. Or they are they the one to let you know they're, they're trying to learn their lesson, but they need your understanding. Look, immature, never lie. I'm telling you, they said they never keep it secrets. They said, they said, I never make a promise. I'm never keeping secrets. I'm, a, I'm never going to lie. You are teaching somebody something valuable. Like if they've lied in the past, you're like, I'm not fucking with you. You cheating, I'm not fucking with you. You out here being disloyal, I'm not fucking with you. Okay, and there that's why they're learning this lesson, a spiritual lesson. Mm-hmm. He's this immature, never lie. He said, I'm sitting in my window thinking of you. Okay, so what what does the collective need to know about this person that's thinking about the future with them? What do they need to know? What's the collective need to know? He said, thinking all the fun things. Yeah, this I'm telling y'all, this person's trying to heal. They're healing. They want to mend things with you. Why? Because you bring them a kind of happiness. They found peace with you. He said, a friend like you will only come once in a lifetime. I'm telling y'all, collective. In divine timing, this person wants to show you that, that they want to do something to make you happy. Somebody wants to do something big for you, I'm hearing. The person's thinking of the future with the collective. What do they need to know? Yeah, they want to leave the past behind and move forward here with you. He said, I will never lie. Okay, tell me more. This, because this person is thinking about the future right now. Yeah, this was a player. See, that's what it is. That's why I didn't say that. You said, if you're playing around and you cheating and you lying and you doing all this extra shit, you got a car make you fucking around. I don't want you. Yeah. And this person's friends could be trying to tell my bro or homegirl, you need to surrender that shit. You need to get out of that. You got somebody real. Yeah, because he goes said again. A friend like you only comes once in a lifetime. You were their ride or die. Yeah. They, some of you, their friends wouldn't even ride them for them. Family wouldn't even ride them for them. But you did. And this person said, I will never lie. Let's cut the name about that person. Yeah. They, they nostalgic. They thinking about you. They thinking about you heavy. Mm-hmm. What else, spirit? What's cut the name about that person? I told y'all, did we see this earlier? It's not over with you and this person. That's why they want to open up to you. He said, when I think of you, I think of someone special. And how it used to be. Okay. He said, you'll always be my friend. And he said, I'm so sad that it had to end. So somebody here is very sad that, that y'all had to go this way or that you kind of like putting your foot down and you're not talking to them. Tell me more about the collective. And the, I'm telling y'all, they want a commitment, re, committed relationship to you. But for some of you, there is a jealous ass energy. Somebody who's very petty, they're mad because they want the love that your person has for you. Somebody here is mad. Okay. So your person sees you as somebody they want to have a long-term committed relationship. And, and as I said, somebody's mad that this card popped out. So whoever's mad is somebody that your person done broke up with, they done let go of, they done, they done did something, they done divorced this person, uh, top of the deck shows ghosted. So whoever this person that is mad at your person, your person done made a final decision with this other person. Okay, they're like, no, I don't, I don't think I can do this. I told y'all, because they're realizing, so your person's going through a realization Things are coming to the light, and the, the what's coming to the light is that they want more of you. They want you so bad, collective link fixes. They want you so bad, collective, but they don't know if they have that opportunity anymore because they lied. Because he's saying, I'll never lie again, but this person lied, okay? After everything you've done for them, like, come on now. Yep, and now they're somewhere keeping tabs on you. They can be very much so mad at themselves. What's playing now? There you go telling me no again. I'm telling y'all, it keeps sweat. You are telling this person no. <laughs> he said, please, you telling me. He said, I want to be more than just your friends. Some of you, some of you could have friends on this person. Wow. Yeah, but they focus on you. That's why they want to be. He said, there you go telling me no again. 
But this person is fascinated. They're watching you. And they want to come in with some type of trick. But they get messages from the universe. Wishing, praying, and hoping and yearning for you that you're not done, collector. They praying that you're not done. <laughs> yeah, so there you go telling me no again. I know that's right. Yeah, because some of you, they feel they fear that time is running out. And they feel like it's going to come to an end because you're not communicating with them. But like, like I said, they still feel like it's something there with you. That's why they're not going to just let you walk away like that, collective. They are fe fearful. They got anxiety. They have restless nights. You know, they probably can only take naps in the daytime, if that. But they're about to come and want to beg to be back with you. Why? Because they feel you as the one. They know it's forever with you. And they want to take a leap of faith towards you. But they want to be strategic about it. Because, like I said, you're not telling this. You're Either you're not communicating with this person or you've made it very clear. Like, no, I'm not doing this. Okay? He's like, there you go, telling me no again. He said, I just want to be more than just your friend. But you're like, no, you, you keep hurting me. Yeah, this person um, definitely watching on social media or just very wanting to be connected to you. They want to come to an agreement with you. Sort something out. Yeah, because they want to come back towards you. They want to reconcile. They're missing you. They want this second chance. They want this new start, this fresh new beginning. Okay, yeah. And like I told y'all, they're watching on social media. They don't want you to go nowhere. But like I told y'all, there could be a third party still involved. Y'all may know that. That's probably why. But whatever this third party trying to do, just know you're protected. Whatever should, whatever plan they're trying to come up with, it ain't going to work. Yeah. And this person looks at you as their soulmate. Y'all got something very beautiful. But this person, I feel like got to grow up. Yeah, and this person right now, they're feeling sad, even though they, and they're wearing a mask. So you may never know that this person is hurting or, or anything because they don't want you to see that side of them. They don't want you to know that they're sad. They, 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 it's like this person want to reach out or talk to you. Maybe they have already and you're not. And he said, there you go, tell me no again. Maybe you didn't have to say it this time. It's just your silence is like, no. It's, it's like your silence is very loud to this person and they hate it. They're feeling alone. They're sad. They're broken. What else, Fred? Yeah, this person feel like you're done. They feel like you're done. Why do they feel like the collective is done? Oh, the spirit said they're returning. So even if they think that you're done, they said, I don't care. I'm coming back to you. Even, even though you may be done, spirit said this person's returning back to you. They can't, they're still thinking about you. Even though, like I said, even though you said you're done, you tell this person no collective, they they like, okay. But for some of you, the memories that went away either. Some of you, you may know that you may not be done with your person either, but you're like, you like, I got to teach you something. I can't keep on doing this. But they're returning back to you. Why does this person want to come back to the collective, even though the collective has said they're done? Why do they want to come back, spirit? Why are they returning? Why is the closest person returning? Because they can't fake these feelings. They feel romantic feelings towards you. This person has really truthfully fell in love with you. And like I said, y'all have went on a journey together. Y'all have been through some things together. This person done put you through some things, Collective. You may have put this person through some shit. I don't know the dynamic of y'all's story. But what I'm seeing here is that even if... You, you say you're done. I still feel like you may be open to hearing this person out because her, her ear is still out. Like her head is not even all the way fully turned. Her back is not fully turned. She still kind of got her ear out wanting to listen. Okay, but you're not turning all, back, all the way around. But you're like, okay, what, what, what you want? <laughs> okay. Yeah, look, somebody here maybe asked you to go on a date. And you're like, damn, you want to take me on a date? I ain't never got a date out of you. You know, it's like pulling teeth with you, but they see you as somebody they want to commit to. And they could have ran from that in the past. Why are they, why is this person returning back to the collective? I'm telling y'all, they're heartbroken about it. They are heartbroken about it. Look, look, troop, all I do is think about you. Oh my goodness. They feel, they know they betrayed you. They know they hurt you. For some of you, they feel like you done found out something. Yeah, they heartbroken because some of you, you done laid it down. You done told them no. You walked away. You done broke up with them. Okay? But they're heartbroken. Anything else, let them need to know about their person that's on their mind, spirit. 
I don't say that with this person. Yeah, your person wanting a family with you. They do. I like how this family situation. What's family about? Yeah, your person wants a family with you. Or they see you as a family. Yeah, this person trying to find the courage to come towards you. Okay? They want to talk to you. What? Why are they trying to find the courage to come towards the collective? The, the confidence. It's going to be unexpected. It's going to be unexpected because some of you, you possibly, a third party could have hit y'all up about your person. Or you may have found a person was dealing with somebody that they said they weren't. What's unexpected surprise? Taking the courage. Yeah. It's something your person is in regret about. That's why they're coming. That's why they're trying to find the courage to come to you. They're not very confident that they can come towards you right now. So somebody here may be intoxicated when they reach out to you, but just know them feelings are real. Because they, they you can get a surprise, either call or text or something like that from this person because they're in a lot of regret. They made the wrong choice. Yeah, and whatever they, they chose of you or whatever you found out about, it's going up in flames. It's going up in flames. Now all they're doing is thinking about you. Clarify regret. Yeah, because this person knows what y'all are meant to be, but they keep fucking shit up. They know y'all are meant to be. What else, Spirit? Why is this person in regret? Yeah, they're praying. They're praying for maybe there's something that you don't even know that they did. They're praying that you never find it out. But I, like I said, you're being protected from what this person had going on. Okay? Even though you may not understand a couple things or a couple questions or whatever the case may be, just so this person is sitting in this regret. Because they know that y'all are meant to be together. Mm hmm And that's why they want to come towards you. One more. I need to figure this out, Spirit. Why is this person so much so much heartbreak and regret? Because some of you, you are hiding away from this person. You could have escaped from this person. Why is this person heartbroken? Oh, they mad, baby. They big mad. Why is the collective person big mad? Yeah, because you're comfort. You're their home. And you make them feel belonging. And the thing about it is, y'all, you, y'all may have not, like, they... They, they they need your comfort. They need you in their life. That's what they're feeling like. But like I said, they thought the grass was greener. Now they're somewhere sitting unhappy. Why is this person mad? Are they embarrassed too? They mad, hurt, embarrassed, broken heart. I mean, they're all the emotions. But they're embarrassed for what they've done. Why is the collective person embarrassed? Spirit? Why is this person embarrassed? Why is the collective person embarrassed? And for some of you, they might have to go to jail or some legal matters might come up. They might get themselves into some into some mess. Why is this person embarrassed? Yeah, legal. Some of you, some legal matters that's going to come up. And you know what? Some of you that went out here and done did something. And the fact that you were there ride or die before, you may not be that before. You may not be that anymore. They feel embarrassed also because they could have promised you they weren't going to do something again. Or you may find out they done got themselves, like I said, into some mess. Some court paper doc documents. Something could be being found in person. But yeah, but it's only going to lead them to come back towards you. Hoping that they can compromise with you. Work something out with you because they're missing you. Okay? One more for why is this person embarrassed? What are these legal matters, legal issues? What is this about? For some of you, it may be child support or maybe a family matter. What else? Legal matters. What is this about? Whatever it is, y'all, it's, it's causing to be heartbroken. Okay? Spirit ain't really saying too much, but it's heartbroken. So what? Else, how does this person feel towards the collective? Yeah. They're, they're trying to hide their emotions. What are they trying to hide? What are they not showing the collective? What is this person, what is this mask about? Yeah, for some of you, they are definitely trying to clear their space, clear this negative energy, but they don't want to show you too much. They, they're really not showing their hand right now. They may be telling a few people what's going on, but they're not really showing their hand. Because I do feel like they want to come in here, give you an offer, and put something on the table. Yeah, 
now this person definitely wants to balance something out with you they want to pop up on you why does this person want to surprise visit or pop up on the collective or vice versa because they want to confess something to you somebody here wants to confess something here to you what else Yeah, for some of you, there's somebody here who's causing a lot. And they may tell you about a drama queen who's very thirsty, causing chaos and drama in their life. They could have a, a toxic attachment to your person, but this person could be in denial. Your person could even be breaking up with this person, running and avoiding them. Because that's not who they want to be in a relationship with. Clarify drama queen. Yeah. So whoever, whoever's causing a person a bunch of mess, just though it's making your person only want to be with you. As they're going through all this bullshit, they're seeing things not that, that, that they're not happy where they're at. It's only making them missing you more. I'm telling you. Why does this person want a second chance with the collective? Somebody here may feel like you are a drama queen, though. I don't know. Yeah, this person want to reconcile with you because they want to court you. They want to date you. Somebody here wants to do it right. You know, they don't want to lose you. It's like, whatever I got to do to show the collective that I want them, I'm going to prove myself to them. Why? Because you are divine. You're one of a kind. You're beautiful. You got are handsome. You got your shit together. You look good. You don't have to do too much to get any attention. You never had to do too much. All you did was show this person, look, this type of woman or man I am, This was, I'm, I'm going to deal the cards for you. This is what we're going to do. And they had a choice and maybe they fucked up. Now, and they see some of that's relationship material. They can brag about you. They know that you're going to be put up, okay? They know that you ain't got to worry about you. They see you as commitment. But like I said, they thought the grass was greener on the other side. And now they're unhappy about that. Yeah. So one more. Why does this person want a second chance with the collective? Reconciliate. Because somebody here is tired of pretending. They feel like they're being fake. They feel like they're not really happy. They know that you're the one they want to be with. And they're going to beg to be back with you. Okay, one more. I need one more. Why does this person want to reconcile the spirit? <gasps> Excuse me. I'm telling y'all because y'all are their soulmate. Is y'all got that twice? They it's just, it's y'all got and it's this friendship, romantic partner. They see that whole thing with you, and this whole time, this person has been avoiding this, avoiding you when they know it's the real deal with you. So they ran away from commitment. Now we got John B. What you say, boo? He said, if I ask, would you say I do? Okay. It's that person said, what you say, boo? Okay. Somebody here may want to ask to marry you. Okay. For your hand in marriage. You see, they would be devastated if if somebody else provided you with that living, but you're like, I, I told you. That's why I'm thinking about the future hot and heavy these days. I'm like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of going back and forth. I want to treat that lady or that man right. And everybody's like, what's stopping you? What is stopping you? And it's them. Because you're going to keep, you going to keep, I heard you're going to keep surviving. You're going to keep moving forward you can keep doing you and they the ones who are going to end up missing out on a good thing because they want to out here be in the streets or they want to keep playing games or keep putting themselves in certain legal matters and issues yeah but they're trying to manifest you back collective they're trying to manifest you back they're being creative that's what they're doing so how does this person feel towards the collective so right now y'all may not be talking they're in hermit mode they so searching i told y'all look two of wands Planning the future, planning ahead, waiting for change, future plans. Your person's making a decision that they're thinking about. Look, R. Kelly for you. He said, he said, take my hand, come go with me. Let me show you how much I care about you. Somebody want to earn your trust again. They're getting some spiritual guidance also as y'all taking some time apart from each other. Can I make this shit up? We got soulmate three times in three different decks. Stop playing with me. This person is keeping tabs on you. They watching you. They are returning back to you because you are very familiar. You are somebody here that they got a soul connection with. Okay. When the world seems strange and nothing else makes sense, they go back to you. But the thing is, you're tired of this in and out. 
Somebody about to come in here with a love message. So somebody about to reach out to you, send you some type of love message, expressing themselves to you. It says past love returns is your best friend, your lover, the one that holds your heart. Past love returns offers of love, a love message. So this person is definitely about to reach out to you. Okay, express their feelings towards you because they want to offer you something. See if you want to take a chance with them. They're going to see if you want to progress and they're determined to move forward with you. Why? Because they got this deep love for you. These deep feelings, this passion for you. Yeah. Strong ass feelings for you. What else, Spirit? How's this person feeling towards the collector? Yeah, but they feel like y'all are going through a, a something that like they got their head down. That's why they're sad. They feel like this is a um they want to end this cycle. They're they're definitely feeling sad about it. Like I said, they may not be showing it. There's another card in here. That's not supposed to be in here. But they are definitely feeling sad right now. Look, look what's in the deck. Telepathic having dreams, hearing songs about you. But this person is very hurt because it's like they're losing you. What else? What? Yeah. And this person is definitely thinking about taking a lead coming towards you. Y'all will definitely get some, some type of communication coming in from your person. Either going to come and see you like the pop-up card said or some type of form of communication is coming in. Yeah. But this person got a lot of anxiety. They're very fearful that you're done because they lied to you. You know? They lied to you, and all they're doing now is just waiting on you, um, spying on you, trying to figure out what you're doing, where you at, watching from a distance. Yeah, because you didn't set some boundaries with them. You're standing in your standing your ground, and you're not taking out none of their shit. Clarify this moon card. Why they got so much anxiety and fear towards the collective? Mm, twin flame. So y'all both could be feeling this because it says mirrored souls, one soul that ignites the passion inside. You, the other half of you. So maybe y'all both could be feeling like, damn, he's walking away, she's walking away, you know. But I feel like that's not the case. One more. What, what, they got, why they got so much anxiety? Yeah, because they want to have something about a family, y'all. They want to have a family here with you. Ace of Wands, they could have tried to start a family with you. I know, yeah, maybe y'all took a plan B. Maybe y'all stopped it. I don't know. But their goal was to have a family here with you. Even though they knew that they probably weren't going to really man up or woman up right now they still wanted to kind of keep you stuck because they know you are a good one but they just wasn't really ready to fully 100 percent commit to you which is very selfish but they want more of you and that's why they're coming here to resolve any type of issues because they're going through a, a lesson right now. they're going through an awakening and this awakening is is not with you in it anymore it's with you setting boundaries it's with you not communicating with them they're seeing it they really let go of the past and have this and work hard to building something here with you and working hard and building something thinking about the future is coming to a union getting married to you you are their forever partner period and that's why they sit in this hermit mode planning that. How to be a better giver or receiver, okay? Come through with the communication. Because like I said, they are returning back to you. Because they do not want to miss this opportunity here with you. They don't. They don't. What else, Spirit? Yeah, success. I'm telling y'all. Look, lovers, success. Somebody wants to be... Just spending time with you, y'all, to yourself, 33, 33 on the timer. But they see success here with you. They see it's real love with you. They're really happy when they are with you. Look, dedicated by R. Kelly. They want to be dedicated to you. He said, dedicate this to my favorite girl. She's the only woman in the world. Mm-hmm. Positive pregnancy, a lot of love. So this person definitely do want to have a child with you. What else, Spirit? Yeah, I'm telling y'all, they're coming towards you. This person is not, not going to let you go just like that. Why is this person coming in with fast action news, traveling, forward movement with the Eight of Wands? Why is this person coming in with this Eight of Wands energy? Because they stuck on you. <laughs> Everything getting delayed. Ain't nothing getting done. Especially until, especially if they have been talking to you. If y'all haven't been talking, they are hanging on to you. They're overthinking this right now. Why are they overthinking this? What's the hangman about? I cannot make this shit up because you are the empress and they don't want to lose you. They are obsessed with you, collective. They're obsessed with everything about you. Somebody is stuck on wanting to get you pregnant. I'm trying to tell you. They will be devastated, especially if you tell this person like, 
oh, I'm dealing with somebody that's talks to somebody else. They're trying to hurry up and try to get you pregnant so you don't, you know. But this person's obsessed with you. Clarify this empress. I'm telling y'all, they want to build a life with you. And they're going to make an effort with the Seven of Wands energy to fight for you and be with you. I cannot make this shit up. Why? Because they're in love with you. This person just possibly has commitment issues. They're not perfect and you and, and, and you know that. But it's just like you just like at the point like this is some shit I cannot accept. I can't accept you knowing that you out here messing around and cheating around. I can't just accept anything. Yeah. That's why they want to come here and propose something here to you. Because they got strong love and strong feelings for you. But this person wants to is gonna show you like I'm worthy. I, I want you to have my child. You're like, well, it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be just because you love me. But they want to work hard to prove to you. That's why they suck on you because they look at you as the empress. They may not be in the best situation right now, but they know for a fact that when they look at you or when they what they feel when they are with you. One more for this empress energy while they're stuck on this empress. Clarify the empress. Yeah, you are beautiful. You're positive. You're very spiritual. Okay, one more for this empress. Why are they stuck on the collective? Mm, this person is also stuck because right now they're worried. They don't feel your love right now and it's stressful. It's hurtful. They're not resting well. They're having nightmares. They feel like you gave up on them and, they, and you lost hope. And that's what's hurting them more than anything. Yeah. they de With the King of Swords, they're definitely planning to come and offer. But they don't want to lose you. So you walking away or you're not communicating with them or you just really not fucking with them right now, it's, it's, it's hurtful. It's like a destruction. It's like their world is turning upside down. They are shocked. Yeah. Yeah. But this person is definitely waiting around for you. Could be checking their phone. Like, what? what what's the? I wonder if they text me yet. They could have their phone. Probably ain't messed with their phone all day long. And put it up. Put it in a glove compartment. Then got busy. And then checking in it. You still ain't hit them up, collective. <laughs> Clarify the nine of wands. Clarify the nine of wands, yeah. But they're determined to definitely get to you, calm things down, or they're just waiting for things to calm down a little bit because they want either to make some type of travel towards you or they want you to travel towards them. But whatever it is, they're wanting to solve any issues. Can't make this up. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. They're wanting to reconcile with you. They're wanting to want to heal this with you. They've been asking God to show them signs and everything else because they're in love with you, collective. Tell me more. How does this person view the collective? How does this person view the collective? Oh, they view you as somebody here who they're obsessed with. That's how they view you. They're obsessed with you. Clarify the devil. Yeah, they see you as success. You are an accomplishment to have. You're somebody worth bragging about. You are very rewarding to have. That's why they may take and bring their ass back to you. Because they know you're something worth having. That's why they're so obsessed with you. One more. Why are they obsessed with the collective? Yeah, King of Swords. You believe in the Aquarius, not Libra, a Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn. But they look at you as somebody here who they're holding on to. You're worth holding on to. You look good. You got your shit together. You you know, but this person could be tough and holding back some. They might act like they know it all. But the fact of the matter is, how does King of Swords feel towards the collective? King of Swords. Yeah, they're coming back. They want to celebrate something too. They want to have a good time with you. They, 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 they're ready for something here with you. They want to come back towards you and have something real commit to you. Page of Wands, yeah. Some of here will look at you as a long-term relationship, especially after y'all taking a break. They want there's some exciting news coming in. Okay, your person definitely wants to be with you, wants to figure this out with you. They don't want to, they don't want you to go nowhere. So let's get some messages from your person. So this person definitely feels like you are something worth fighting for. You're something worth having. What is this? Yeah, look, I miss the sound of your voice. So your person. Definitely is missing the sound of your voice right now. This 
spirit angels and gods what does this person want to let the collective know at this time what does this person want to let the collective know at this time spirit what would they like the collective to know This is how am I supposed to replace you? Yeah. This person knows you're not replaceable. Okay. They know that. And that's why they're obsessively stalking you. Now, if if they, let's say you don't have social media or anything like that, just know they're still trying to, they're, they're becoming obsessive because they don't know what you're doing. They're trying to find your social media, trying to find all types of stuff. You know, they, they're trying to create fake pages to get in your private accounts. Okay. Somebody who's obsessively trying to, is looking for you. Okay. Because they can't replace you. It says, I miss our family. So that's probably why family can't come, kept coming out. Some of you, they do have a family with you. Or maybe they see you as their family. Okay, they miss that. But look, it says, I respect you for setting strong boundaries. I'm telling y'all, y'all are setting strong boundaries. And, and, and so I make your person, it's making them only wanting to come back to you. It says, I'm planning out how to win you back. Because you're setting boundaries, they're having to plan, be strategic, trying to find the courage to come back towards you. Yeah, fighting over you. They say they're going to fight over you. It don't matter. Because you didn't deserve how this person treated you, Collective. Uh -oh. We don't take the ones on the floor, but I'm curious to know what it says. So, I'm going to say what it says. It says yes, okay? And they do miss what y'all have, okay? Told y'all, spying, creeping, stalking, lurking, investigating. Watch it. Told y'all, this person is is watching you, spying, investigating, trying to figure out everything. Trying to figure out everything. It says, I will treat you better than your ex. So I don't know what that's about. <laughs> if this is your ex. It says, can we please make up? What else does this person want to let the collective know? What else? That's all I'm going to take. So we got my person is jealous of you. So they could be dealing with somebody who is jealous of you, but they will never be happy until you come back to them. The, yeah. See, I told y'all this is a divine intervention. That's why it's kind of, it's very a strong energy. Please just let me explain. It says, I want to see you again. Did I tell you that? This person will try to travel towards you or vice versa or try to get you to where they're at, but they are so grateful that they met somebody like you. It says, I keep my feelings for you a secret. I told y'all they were wearing that mask. It says, I'm so stupid for hurting you. Mm -hmm. It says, they meant nothing to me. So whatever your person did to hurt you, that person that they that you found out about or you asked them about, they lied or whatever the case may be, they regret that. It says, you're a blessing in my life. <clears throat> and can I come back home? It says, I didn't know how much I loved you until I lost you. Sad face. So this person could definitely be crying over you hurt about what they've done all right so collective that's what i have for y'all hope you enjoyed y'all's reading this afternoon make sure y'all like comment and subscribe okay i will see y'all later peace